just like different equations in arithmetic or in algebra and the other branches of mathematics, there are also operations acceptable when dealing with matrices. Learn them in this video. You are watching Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. Like discussed previously, matrices are like vectors with its i, j, and k components, so the first operation is multiplying matrices with the scalar. The scalar is just a constant either multiplied to or extracted from the matrix, and in case of matrix M, which is given with the size of 3 by 3, being multiplied by a constant or scalar k. K of matrix M will become the matrix itself multiplied by the scalar K in all of the elements. An example is matrix A, which will then be multiplied by 3, matrix A having the elements as shown. The constant 3 is just multiplied to every entry, which will then be the result to the matrix having 12, 0, and negative 3 for the first row. 6, negative 15, and 21 for the second, and 6, 12, and 18 for the third. In case we simplify matrix P, where the entries are as follows. By checking all the elements, they are multiples of 4, so we can extract the constant from them, simplifying the matrix as 4 multiplied by the simplified matrix having the values 10, 7, and negative 4 for the first row, 6, negative 5, and 11 for the second, and 8, 12, and 9 for the third row. The next operations are the basic addition and subtraction of matrices. These operations require that matrices have the same size. Therefore, a 2 by 3 matrix cannot be added with a 3 by 3 matrix. Or, a 3 by 2 matrix still cannot be added or subtracted with a 2 by 3 matrix. When doing addition or subtraction, elements of the same index would be added or subtracted. For example, with two 3 by 2 matrices E and F, we can add them as E11 with F11, E12 with F12, and so on. Let's move on to one example. Add the first matrix with the second and subtract the third. Starting with the elements with one and one index, we would take 5 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 3. Those with index 1 and 2 will have 4 plus 0 minus 2 is equal to 2. And that with index 1 and 3 would show negative 2 plus 2 less 3 is equal to negative 3. Then moving to the second row, the resulting entry for the index 2 and 1 would be computed as 1 plus 3 less negative 4 is equal to 8. Next is index 22 taken as 0 plus negative 5 less 0 is negative 5. And lastly, the entry with index 2 and 3 is computed as 2 plus 1 less 1 is equal to 2. Thus, the matrix will be as follows. The third operation, which is useful in matrices, is transposition. Transposing matrix only converts the rows into columns, such as matrix A will have the arranged elements as shown, and transposing it will result to as follows. Vectors can also be transposed. Row vector, which is horizontal, can have a vertical transpose, and a column vector will revert to a row vector. Although these two are used interchangeably now, they would have a distinction in the succeeding discussions. Next, let's discuss the properties of transposition. 1. With a procedure undertaken, we can conclude that the transpose of the transpose of a matrix will bring it back to its original arrangement. Let's prove it with an example. With matrix B, 
starting by taking its transpose. Then again, get the transpose of the resulting matrix. We can see that the arrangement of elements are reverted back to the original. The second characteristic states that the transpose of matrix D or a diagonal matrix will reflect the original form. Say we have diagonal matrix C. If we take its transpose, the elements would still remain in their original arrangement. How do we multiply two matrices? What could be the conditions to do so? If addition and subtraction require equal matrices, multiplication has a different condition. Say we have a matrix A as 4 by 2 and multiply this with matrix B which is 2 by 5. Recall that the size is denoted as the rows by the columns. In multiplication, the number of columns of the first matrix should match the number of rows of the second matrix. Moreover, the rows of the first matrix would be the resulting number of rows of the product matrix. The number of columns of the second matrix will be the resulting columns. Since multiplication might be involving not just two elements, a simple method to consider is to arrange the matrices to be multiplied in such a way that their rows and columns can meet in an element arrangement. In this case, solving for the value of element 3, 3 will be adding the products of the third row from the first matrix to the third column of the second matrix. In equation form, we can say C of 3, 3 is equal to A of 3, 1 times B of 1, 3 plus A of 3, 2 times B of 2, 3. Let's use numerical values in simple matrices. Matrix A with a 2 by 2 size is multiplied by matrix B of the same size. Checking the columns and rows, they do match, so we can go ahead and multiply them. Starting from the first row of matrix A and first column of matrix B, we can get C11 as negative 3 by 2 plus 0 by 6 and the resulting value is negative 6. Keeping the first row of matrix A but taking the second column of matrix B will reflect C12, which can then be computed as negative 3 by 4 plus 0 by 8, where the value is computed as negative 12. Moving on to the second row of matrix A and going back to the first column of matrix B, we'll yield C21 which can then be taken as 5 by 2 plus 1 by 6. The value simplified as positive 16. Lastly, take the intersection of the second row of matrix A with the second column of matrix B as 5 by 4 plus 1 times 8, which gives the value of positive 28. How about matrices with more entries? Say matrix C as a 3 by 3 size and matrix D with 3 by 4. Again, check rows and columns and in this case, the three columns of matrix C matches with the three rows of matrix D. Then, they are compatible. So arrange the first and second matrix in such a way that it would be easy to determine the values of the resulting entries. The first row of matrix C is multiplied by the first column of matrix D as C11 is equal to 1 times 10 plus 2 times 20 plus 3 times 30, giving the value of 140. Move to the second column of matrix D, but stay on the first row in matrix C. We get 1 times 11 plus 2 times 21 plus 3 times 31, which turns out to be 146. Keeping the first row of matrix C but moving on to the third column of matrix D gives us C13 is equal to 1 times 12 plus 2 times 22 plus 3 times 32, which can then be simplified as 152. And to complete the first row, move the column to the last while fixing the first row. We would have C of 1, 4 is equal to 1 times 13 plus 2 times 23 plus 3 times 33, and that is 158. As we complete the first row of the resultant matrix, we again start to fill the second row, so take focus 
on the second row of matrix C and start with the first row of matrix D, taken as C of 2, 1 is equal to 4 times 10, plus 5 times 20, plus 6 times 30 is equal to 420. Moving to the second column and keeping the second row, we compute the value as C of 2, 2 is equal to 4 times 11, plus 5 times 21, plus 6 times 31, and it is simplified as 335. Next, focus on the third column multiplied by the same second row, and that is C of 2, 3 is equal to 4 times 12, plus 5 times 22, plus 6 times 32, which would be 350. Completing the entries in the second row of the resultant matrix, we keep the second row of matrix C, but move to the fourth column of matrix D, giving the equation C of 2, 4 is equal to 4 times 13, plus 5 times 23, plus 6 times 33, and this is equal to 365. Finally, we move on to the third row of matrix C and again start with the first column of matrix D, giving us the C of 3, 1 is equal to 7 times 10 plus 8 times 20 plus 0 of 30, which would be 230. Check the second column of matrix D with the last row of matrix C, reflecting C of 3, 2 is equal to 7 times 11 plus 8 times 21 plus 0 times 31, which can then be computed as 245. The third column will be intersecting the third row, giving the equation C of 33 is equal to 7 times 12 plus 8 times 22 plus 0 times 32, which can then be simplified as 260. And lastly, take the intersection of the last row of the first matrix with the last column of the second matrix. C34 is equal to 7 times 13 plus 8 times 23, plus 0 times 33, and that would be equal to 275. The resulting matrix is then completed with a bigger size of 3 by 4.